Hello, YouTube. This is Jesse over Steinway Pickets. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we installed the full tick library and we configured it, we built it, and we installed it. And now we're going to uh, deal with a little bit of more complex applications because you can int you can integrate full tick with any other library. Uh, and we will be doing some work integrating with OpenCV later. Uh, but right now, let's uh, let's do. Uh, let me show you this. Uh, this is a, a, a cool application that you can use to test it and make sure everything is working. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go into my GitHub page. And as you can see, there's a few images here that I've been working with. But right now I have here the installation notes and I, I, I'm going to be using SM Player. It works great with the ARM architecture. I tested it. And also you can use uh, FMPEG if you want, but it's, uh, it, it's, it takes a, a lot of space. But I love FMPEG. I use it all the time. But uh, I might be using it later. That's why I downloaded it into my uh, Android. But uh, uh, you don't have to do that if you don't have too much space on your SD card or or some or something like that. Okay. So, but we're going to download a, a SM Player. So let's just copy here and then go into our Android or your Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter. And we're gonna do sudo apt get install SM player. Hit enter for your password. And there it is. As you can see, I already have it installed. Now that we have SM player installing our Android or our Raspberry Pi or our Ubuntu PC, we need a video. So we're going to go and get a video. I'm going to be using a video that we got from our OpenCV install is in the in the data is this in OpenCV OpenCV master it's under samples and then there's a directory called data and inside that data directory you're gonna see a lot of the images that they use for the OpenCV library and among these, you're going to find some videos. You're going to find these two videos right here, Megamind AVI and Megamind uh, Buoy AVI. And then you're also going to find a few other videos here, 3 AVI and BTS AVI. So right now, we're, I'm going to be using Megamind AVI. And in order to get the video into your Android uh, or into your Raspberry Pi, if you're running it headless, uh, it can be uh, cumbersome. So I'm going to show you an easy way. You can download it using, if, you, if you're not using it headless and you're using a graphical user interface, you can just open a browser, go into my GitHub page and download it. Uh, that's one way. The another way is to use SCP, and we've used it before. So let me close this here. Actually, I'm going to stay here. So we're going to SCP, uh, secure copy this video right here, and we're going to send it into our all droid right here. So to get that command, I can go into my installation nodes and I think I, yes, it's right there. So all you need to do is to copy and it's going to be in your PC. Let's give me a, a, use ourselves some space here. And this is all you need. You're going to do secure copy, the name of the text uh, file or whatever file that you're sending, where you're sending it, 
and which directory you're sending it. So for right now, I'm going to go find out what my directory is. So I'm going to copy and paste this. Copy. And then I'm going to go back here. I'm going to copy and paste. And do paste. And then here, the name of the file is Megamind, the video, and it's ABI. And my username to host is, gotta do the real one, so it will be Odroid at my IP address, which is that one should work. So now I'm going to be sending, to recap, I'm going to be sending this to here, to my old droid. And as you can see right now, there's nothing there, but you're going to see how I can do it. And then I hit enter. It's going to ask for my password. You enter your password. And now it's being copied, as you can see here. So it's being copied to my remote location, which is in this case my Odroid. And now when I check it, there it is. Okay. And now we can use SM Player to play it. Of course, it's going to be, I'm going to show it to you here first, what it's supposed to be like. Of course, in the old it's going to be a lot uh, laggier, a lot slower. So let's do Megaman ABI. So that's the video. And it comes from, like I said, with the OpenCV library. If we do it, we test it in our old droid, you're going to see that it's, first of all, it's not going to have the sound, and it's going to be a lot uh, slower, laggier. Uh, of course, it's not, it's not going to be as fast as in the PC. So, as you can see, it's opening the SM player uh, remotely on your remote old droid. And like I said, it's going to take a lot longer. It's going to be a lot slower. Depending on the connection also, that would, that would, and as you can see, it's playing it. But as you can see, it's slow. And uh, it's a lot slower. But it's doing it. So that's uh, it's just a proof of concept. I just wanted to show you what is what it was on the PC and now using the the Android. So now we're going to take that video and what we're going to do. I just close this one. Then let's do force quit and then I killed it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, uh, images and I'm going to run this program and put these images together uh, and make a, a, a video similar to the one that I show you. So it's a, it's a, it's a program in the full tech library and let's do it. So what I'm going to do is go here. Actually, I'm going to use those images right there. Uh, let's do a point K, LS, CD. Okay. Um, and 
there they are. There's some images that I created from the same video. So I'm going to move them just the same way that I used before, SCP. Uh, but instead of moving one image, I'm moving all of these images. Okay. So I'm moving, this is the command right here. So I'm using SCP, all of the JPEG images, and going to the old droid in the directory. So you just hit enter. It's going to ask me for my password. And as you can see, if we check here, Actually, my Android closed, so let's open my Android again. And as you can see, if we check and we go into CDFLDK, there are the images that I sent. And now we go to my web page and there's a nice file called animate images C++ and we are going to copy and paste it okay, and I'll explain you the code in a little bit I'm going to here and now create nano animate images And there it is, because I already copied it. In your case, you just copy and paste and put it in. And let's, let me explain. It's, it's uh, including all of the libraries from full tech. It's going to, I got this code from uh, Erico, from the full tech cheat page. And this is the amount of time that is going to take per image, how many images. Uh, just like in the other one we were doing uh, is a couple, three uh, pointers. And that's your window, that's your how many images and the group. And as you can see here, is, is, this has the uh, sh showing the image, how many. So in this case, total is going to be 13. So it's just going to go through until uh, you see it goes through all of them. And it's going to hear how long it's going to stay looking at it and how many. Here is uh, loading the images into memory. And it's going to give it a name. It's going to find, look for uh, anything that has got a JPEG extension and it's got uh, three three spaces like 0 0.003, 0 0.001 and so on, 0 0.001, 0 0.002 and so on. And if it's, it's going to find whatever JPEG, if not it's going to throw an error. And here is your main, as you can see, and here is calling the, the pointers, it's creating the window, the group is aligning it, it's making it pretty, showing it, and then uh, it's calling this function right here, load to load images, and return is going to do, keep going until it does it, all of them, and it's just going to keep going. So now let's just run it, and now let's use... Uh, the command that I used before is this command right here so I just want to show them to you again just in case you didn't catch them last time is this command right here so I'm gonna use this one so copy paste and all you and of course 
let's clear this. So this is the hello file, the animated images C++ that we're running. And this is the command. It's going to give an error because it's trying to compile. So let's do it again and change the name this time. And we're going to call it animated images C++. It's calling the F if full tick config flags telling it to compile and then the name so let's do it compile and now that's the executable here and now it's going to run all of these images and create an animation so we're going to go animate images and there it goes of course it's going to be a lot slower but as you can see, it's taking each image and is creating a, an animation of each uh, frame. So it's taking frame 001, 002, 003, just like we did before. And it's creating this, uh, this little animation. Okay, so that's one way. And if you really want to see, let's stop it here. Let's kill it. So let's go to C and then stop it. And this is another one that I have from uh, from the website, and this is really cool. So you can see how nice is this one right here it's animate C++ and it's taking 45 images so for example I'm going to show you this here and then I'm going to go There's the 45 images. This is uh, it. It comes through here through a tar, and you once you open it, all of these images are inside. And I just wanted to run this to show you. Is this same same one here? So let's go and show you. is the same it's, instead of 13 images it's going to be 45 and it's going to go 1 divided by 30 so it's going to be 30 frames per second so it's going to be 1 over 30 and same thing like the other one everything instead of 3 it's going to be 0 .00001 instead of 001 like we actually show you in the first one Basically, it's, it's the same program, okay? But it's a, a, a lot more, a lot more images. So let's run it. And I just wanna let's compile it. And let's do copy, paste, change the name of the file. I'm just trying to make it easy. So we're being lazy here. The name of the file is going to compile it. And now we run it. Animate. And it's this nice animation that you can see. It's 45 images, as you can see here. And it's just uh, running them continuously. And it's a very, very nice animation. This is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time with another great tutorial. Take care. Have a great time.